Hey guys, today I am taking you through my coat closet. We're doing a coat closet tour. This is coats that I wear here in Canada every all winter long for about nine months out of the year. You really need very warm coats here in Canada. It gets extremely cold and roughly eight to nine months out of the year, we are wearing coats. So I have accumulated over the last few years all of my favorite very warm winter coats for minus 10 Celsius or I guess you could say, what's that in American? 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So today we're gonna be going through all of my favorite coats. I left out parkas. I, I really only have two and I can actually link all of the coats down below including the parkas that I have But I left those out just to save time I know this video is going to be a little bit lengthier than most of my videos So for now, I'm just doing some stylish some of my favorite coats Excluding parkas and excluding any really light light coats that I have minus this one right here And I'll, I'll tell you why I'm including this one when we get to that. But anyway, so today we're gonna to be doing coats and we're gonna be doing only super warm coats. So let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with the leathers. I have two leather jackets that I wear starting in fall and I wear them actually into winter until around December. So this one, this one here is from Aritzia and it's the Macage label. This is one of my favorite coats in my closet, top three, because I was eyeing this coat for easily a solid year. And two years ago, Kevin, this was my Christmas gift from Kevin. It is the biggest Christmas gift I've ever gotten because these coats are quite expensive. But I have since then, I mean, I've worn it every single year. It's a relaxed fit. It is very comfortable. These coats, macaque leathers in general, macage especially, they tend to stretch out a little bit as you wear them. Just the leathers as they kind of wear, they get a little bit looser. So I would suggest if you're going to buy a macage leather jacket, buying it when it feels a little bit more fitted than you would normally have it. This one fits me kind of perfect now. It was a little tight when I first got it. Next up is this long leather jacket, also from Maritzia, and it's the brand Babaton. This is in a size extra, extra small. This was a suggestion actually from one of my followers. I had posted a very similar coat looking for something similar, and one of you guys had actually suggested that Aritzia had something. I saw it online, I wanted it so bad, I saved up for it, and I went in the store and bought it. This is very new, it was purchased only two months ago, so they probably still have it in store if you want to go in and try it on. I just loved that really classic, um, it kind of reminded me of early 2000s Rachel Green when she was always wearing those long leather trenches, and I'm so obsessed with her style, I'm so obsessed with her. Uh, so this was just something that I had wanted for a really long time. Next up, we have this plaid bomber with a little bit of like a shearling touch here from a brand called Allison New York. This was a brand that I was recently introduced to last year. I haven't shopped with them since, but this coat, I saw it and I just knew I had to have it. I thought it was just so cool and like a different take on a bomber. This one is a size medium and this is actually from last year. By the way, for all the coats that were bought a few years ago or last year, because there are a couple in this video, I will link very similar dupes down below so that you can Check those out if you're interested. Next up, we have this puffer from Lululemon. I got this actually this month. It is probably my favorite. It's not technically a parka, but it should be because it's so warm and cozy. This is my favorite of all my like super, super parka e winter jackets. It's not long, but it is honest to God, the most comfortable. It feels like plush on. I mean, it feels like you're wearing a warm cloud. It's just so comfy. It actually is fitted so it looks not too bulky. It still keeps it kind of like chic. I just love this coat. I wear this to walk this one if it's not like, you know, minus 30 or 20 out, which it does tend to get sometimes here in Alberta. It gets so cold, it's ridiculous. I've got my coat on right now and Penny's at my feet thinking we're going for a walk. I'm sorry, not yet. Later. Next up is the last of the puffer coats. This one is from Zara. 
It is navy blue, which is my least favorite color in the world, but this is the only navy blue item that I have, and I still wear it because I like it. So this one is from Zara, and I found it actually in the men's section. I was on the hunt for like a really cute puffer coat, went into the men's section and bought it. You'd be surprised what you can find in the men's section. Like there's actually some pretty cute stuff. So this one I got actually two years ago, so they likely don't have it. I don't really know why I included it in this video, but basically what moral of the story is that you should go to Zara and you should check out the men's section for coats, hoodies, and cardigan type sweaters. Cause you never know what you could find. Like I found this beauty and I'm still wearing it two years later. Okay, next up is my Teddy Coats. I love Teddy Coats. This one is brand new, just got it the last month. It is from Storettes. I liked this one because it was unlike any of the other teddy coats and sweaters that I had had. Teddy coats and sweaters are kind of taking over my wardrobe for winter the last two years, but this one I just, it was short and it was like a button up, so it was kind of different and I really liked that. I talked about it in my last video. You can button it up. I have also worn it like that since I've had it with one button undone here, just kind of like cute and casual. It's really warm and it's decently priced. Next up, we've got this long teddy from Tula Rosa. It's a Revolve label. I've had this one, this was two years ago. I think they're actually still making, I should double check. I think they're still making this coat or a very similar version, so I will link it below for you. But this one is just my like go-to throw on coat. I'll wear it with like leggings or sweats or jeans and it's really warm and cozy. It doesn't have a button up or a clasp. So it's just a really relaxed coat and it's just easy to throw on. So I've had this one, yeah, like I said, I've had this one for two years and I love it. And finally, last of the Teddy Coats is this bad boy right here, also from Storettes. Just got this one yesterday, actually. So this is brand new as well. It is currently the one I've actually been wearing most so far. I feel like this one, as opposed to the other one, is a little bit, you can dress it up a little more because of the lapels. They're a little more like formed here. And also this one has a button. This coat's just basically like an updated version of the last one I just showed you. And I actually think it is a little bit warmer. It's lined on the inside. Okay, next up we have this balloon puff sleeve coat from Storettes. I actually talked about this in my last video of what I got this month. I've been wearing this coat pretty much nonstop since I got it. It's nice because it's, I have one other camel coat and by the way, I actually think camel coats are the number one best staple coat that you can possibly own aside from a parka. I just think they're classic, chic, they, they go with just about anything that you'll put on and they're timeless. So they're gonna last you for like 10 years if you treat it right. So this is just one style. This is a more relaxed fit than my one I'm gonna show you next, which is a lot more structured. It does have a couple buttons here if you wanna button it up. I love the little balloon sleeves. It just keeps that like relaxed fit style and it's something a little bit different. Moving on to the more structured camel coat, this one is from Sui Studio. This is definitely an investment piece, but this is my favorite coat in my closet for three years in a row now. So I love it, it's ankle length, and it's just, it goes with anything I throw on. Every single time I wear this coat, I get compliments. Moving on to the winter whites. This one is another jacket from Sui Studio. This is again, three years old. I wear this, every single year, all winter long. I love winter whites. Winter whites are like a nice, like they're not that stark white, they're a nice like slight cream. So I just love this, this coat for the winter. I think it's so elegant and it's extremely warm. It's lined, so, cause I'm allergic to wool. Wool makes me itch, so it, the lining is really nice. I have no itching at all. Next is my really long, winter white coat. This one is from Tibby. This was a purchase last year or the year before. And it goes down to my ankles. It's floor length coat. It's incredibly warm, which I love. So anytime I'm going out and I have to dress fancy, like I want to wear a dress and heels kind of fancy, I wear this coat because if it's cold out, this keeps me so warm and it fits great. It's nice and tailored. I love the waist tie. It gives me that nice like illusion of actually having a waist. This checked style coat is from NAKD. It's an online brand. I think they started in Europe and now they're venturing out. I'm not quite sure, but I've had this coat for a year now and it's just a really cool, different kind of take on your typical 
tailored white or black coat. I don't wear this one as often as some of my others, but it has a time and a place. This one here, this houndstooth, is also my last one from Sui Studio. Again, this one is three years old. I got them all around the same time, and I love this one. Again, doesn't go with everything, but it is a total statement piece. Looks great with black jeans, blue jeans, pair of booties, maybe a black turtleneck. Really great transition piece, too, from fall to winter. This gray one here is from The Fifth Label. It's an Australian-based brand. They also have a great online store. I found this one in a boutique in London actually and I was really cold I didn't necessarily need it but I have ended up wearing this coat so much in the last year it's just been a really great staple piece to have in my closet just throw on I find that this coat in particular I wear most with like leggings or sweatpants style like more of a relaxed athleisure look this one here is from so skin studios I talked about this one as well in my last video about what I got this month I just quickly mentioned it I get questions on this coat every single time I wear it. It is definitely a statement piece, it's definitely an investment piece, but it is one of my top three most worn coats, I would say. It's extremely warm. It's almost as warm as my parkas. This one is a more relaxed fit, easy to wear. It buttons up, although I haven't used it, I haven't worn it buttoned up. It's warm enough to like kind of leave it open most, most of the time. It's suited, I think, for just anyone. This one here is the lightest of all of the coats. This one is from L'Academy, from Revolve. It's more of a duster than a coat, I would say. It is, it's still quite heavy like a coat, but it's not lined, it's not overly warm. It's a really great transition piece, and I find myself wearing this one often layering. I'll wear like a thick, chunky turtleneck underneath because there's enough room in the sleeves here. The checked look is just a really great casual look. I wear this a lot with blue jeans. I've also worn it with thigh-high booties and a black skirt. And last but not least, this one is from SoSkin as well. This is another really great transition piece from fall to winter. It's a little warmer, it is wool, it's not lined, but it's a really great color for fall and to kind of bring into your winter wardrobe. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my coat closet tour. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and or subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Down. Yeah, can you tell me what?